What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today I wanna to share with you guys some amazing tips and tricks to use the Galaxy keyboard on your Samsung S24 Ultra. The Samsung keyboard comes with the phone stock out of the box. And if you haven't used Samsung in the past, you're coming from an iPhone or another Android phone, you may have some learning curves. So I wanna help you guys get started right out of the box. Before we get started, I wanna thank my son, Jonathan, my three-year-old son always gives us some dinos to hang out in the video. We got a baby T-Rex and a blue parasol office. They'll be hanging out with us over here in the video. Hopefully that one will stand up. I also want to remind you, if you want to save some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my friends and partners over at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just $15 a month. And they also have a bunch of plans that fit pretty much any need out there. They have a five gigabyte plan for $15 a month, 15 gigabyte a month plan for 20 a month, 20 gigabyte a month plan for 25 a month, and the unlimited plan with 40 gigabytes of 5G, 4G LT data for $30 a month. Now all their plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. The other thing I love about Mint is you get an eSIM. So if you're traveling or something like that, you need a SIM right now. Can't wait for it to come to your house. They'll send it out to you via email. You can activate it. Of course, the S24 Ultra is eSIM compatible. Or you get a physical SIM, they'll send you out a SIM tool, pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM, and let the savings begin. Now, I've been using Mint here in the Phoenix, Arizona area for about 15 months. Love the service, love the value. If you guys are looking to save a lot of money in your wireless service, go to my link, trymintmobile.com slash Springer. It's also in the pinned comment and description. And uh, we do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and get started. Talk about Samsung keyboard. The first thing you should do with the Samsung keyboard as soon as you get your new Galaxy phone is make sure you go into the main settings menu. And when you scroll down, you'll find the language settings under general management, language and keyboard. And in here, you can tap on Samsung keyboard list. Now, as you scroll down, you'll be able to change the size and transparency of the keyboard from here. I highly recommend adjusting the size in particular because the size does kind of matter. If you have big fingers, you're gonna want some bigger keys. I've adjusted this. This is not what comes out of the box. Uh, I always adjust mine slightly to make it slightly bigger. I don't usually like the biggest size, but you know, you can play around with it and kind of see what works for you. You basically just drag the handles on the side to adjust the size or move the keyboard by dragging the button in the center. Transparency settings are available with the floating keyboard only. So that's something to keep in mind. It'll just make it easier to use, easier to type, and uh, you won't be as frustrated. I do think the Samsung keyboard's a little small uh, right out of the gate, so definitely something to change. I also forgot, I have my little Google Keep document here with all of my overall you know, tips and tricks so that we can keep track of these. I'll put these in the comment section below as well. Uh, the other thing is to choose the layout. You can change the layout here of the device. You can choose if you want number of keys, alternative characters in there, uh, the period, the space, uh, what you want for email address and web address. So this is what will show when you actually have, you know, the browser open, either Chrome or the Samsung browser. And you can click here and see what the layout looks like. Change that to your, you know, various needs. And then up here with the button, you can either choose button and symbol layout, choose a layout for your button and symbols, and your keyboard language, default or alternative. That can be modified as well. You can change pretty much everything about the Samsung keyboard. And I'm going to show you guys how to do even more deep customization in a second. The other thing you can do is change the font size as well directly inside of the Samsung keyboard and custom symbols here. Tap the symbol you want to change in the keyboard and edit which custom symbols show. Now down here, I get questions about voice input quite often. So you can see here, voice input, Samsung voice input or Google voice typing. You can also change the various languages that are here and you can turn on or off hide offensive words. Let me go back in here, hide offensive words. So you can turn that on or off inside that setting. Suggested text corrections, text shortcuts, down here, the keyboard toolbar, you can also turn on high contrast keyboard. Under more typing options, you can choose auto capitalize, auto spacing. You can basically also turn on or off the feature that allows you to double tap the space bar to add a period, you know, just depending on whether or not you like that feature, it is turned on by default. So once you look through here and kind of choose if you want predictive text, all these various things, the next thing you wanna do is actually go in to customize your keyboard. Now, the way you can customize your keyboard in terms of the look and everything like that is you can use the good lock module called keys cafe just head right into the galaxy store and go ahead and search for good lock once you find good lock and install the application on your phone go into the good lock app one of the modules that you can install is called keys cafe now keys cafe is on the makeup side of good lock once you find it go ahead and install this module i already have it installed here but there'll be an install button tap on keys cafe and there's a couple things you can do here first of all you can customize the layout of your keyboard in a more granular way. They have some pre-made set layouts for English, like Simple, Vorak, Colmac, Simple Keyboard, Math Keyboard, Chemistry Keyboard, and uh, the Math and Chemistry Keyboard. 
And you can basically go here and edit these particular layouts as well by choosing custom symbols. Now this one has a little more granular control, a little more precise. You can do a lot more. There's a lot more to choose from than you have, you know, just with the regular keyboard layout editor in the main settings menu that I showed you earlier. So that's one big advantage. Next, you can go into the style your own keyboard. And a lot of people ask me about how I get these amazing effects on my keyboard. Now, the first thing you can do is choose one of these themes over here if you like them. I usually stick with just the plain keyboard, but I do like to add the effects. Now, these effects basically look, at, look like various vibrations and other cool looking colors around your keyboard. They got different effects like splatter, um, vibrate. You can see you can actually change the key motion, the key color. All these things can be changed. And you can see the combination I'm using. You can also turn on the motion effect as well. And it makes it look really cool when you use your keyboard. In fact, you can test it up here and it'll show you exactly how those effects are going to look on your particular keyboard. Now up here, you can choose the color palette as well, which is pretty cool. So you'll see different colors that will come down with those effects. Under the sound menu, you can change the system sound to other fun sounds that you want to use for your keyboard. I often have my phone on just vibrate, so I don't bother with that, but it is something that's pretty cool that a lot of people enjoy. You can also do play keyboard games, choose various stickers. You can create your own sticker sets from here. And under advanced keyboard settings, you can have longer space bar while URL typing, change the auto replacement sensitivity, turn off the delete accelerator, double tap interval for three by four keyboards, and use sticker suggestions. I don't personally use any of these, though sometimes playing with the auto replacement sensitivity can be beneficial if the stock sensitivity kind of bothers you. I'd recommend taking a look at it for that reason. But otherwise, I don't mess with these too much. I mainly use it to have my own keyboard layout customized and style it with all those cool effects that I just showed you guys. Up next is to use the spacebar to control the cursor. So this is a very cool feature that a lot of people don't realize exists on the Samsung keyboard. If you type in a tweet here, let's just say this is a tweet. And let's say it was longer text. You can actually long press on the keyboard and it'll allow you to move the cursor left to right and seek in the text. Now you're also technically supposed to be able to swipe with another finger to highlight text, but it's never really worked that great for me. Um, I've tried it. I showed it last year in the video. I typically just use this for seeking, but that feature is supposed to work, but you have to be pretty precise. And then you can highlight and actually copy and paste everything just with the long press swipe gestures. Never been all that effective for me personally, but it is a cool tip that I want to let people know about so that they know that this exists. The next thing is using the AI stuff that comes in the new Galaxy S24 Ultra. Those features do include the keyboard. So if you go down to advanced features and you go into advanced intelligence, some of the features that come with the AI stuff are Samsung keyboard features, chat translation, style and grammar, and the more advanced intelligent features. Now the translation will basically allow this to translate stuff from various different apps. You can choose which apps you wanna allow it to translate in. It's not gonna work in every application, but the ones I use the most here are style and grammar. Now style and grammar will let you get not only grammar suggestions for what you write, but also change the style from formal to informal, you know, work, you know, with, with your friends, whatever you wanna do. And so the way these work is if you're typing in here, you can go in here, tap on the AI button on the keyboard, check for spelling and grammar, it'll check your text. This is a tweet, period. So telling me I forgot punctuation. Uh, and then you can do writing style. So writing style, you can say, this is a professional tweet. Yo, check out this tweet. This is a tweet, hashtag social media, hashtag sharing thoughts. Hello there, I would like to share a tweet with you, polite. So, you know, kind of interesting. You can get emojified ones. Uh, if you, you know, do a lot of social media stuff like I do, you can get ones that are optimized for sharing on socials. I found it to be pretty useful. The style and grammar, both of them very useful, and they are baked right into the keyboard with the AI button over here. So definitely make sure you activate those. If you want it to be device only processing, you can do that if you care about you know, privacy and all that stuff, but it is faster if you allow them to process it in the cloud. The next thing is to select other third-party content. So you can actually access settings for the keyboard right here on the toggles. I'm gonna to show you some of these other shortcuts. If you go into the settings and go to the bottom, you'll find select third-party content to use. Here you can enable Bitchmoji. You can enable Magic Talk. I don't know what that is exactly. I think it's uh, the symbols that they use in Korea that have like, that just use like the characters on the keyboard. 
uh, Jiffy, which you can get various GIFs imported, Google Translation, and Grammarly. I'm turning those off because I'm trying to use the AI translation and also stuff that comes with Samsung's device right now so I can review them, but you can turn them on if you want, choose what third-party content you want, and then of course that content will you know be shown up on the keyboard. So you'll have all that stuff in here. Now, where that actually comes from is the keyboard shortcuts. So all of these are keyboard shortcuts. Obviously, I showed you the AI one. You got your clipboard right here. That's one shortcut that's very important. You can pen stuff to the top of your clipboard. Over here, you can change the keyboard to make it one side or the other, make it more manageable to use. And then this little three dot menu, you've got a whole bunch of other ones. You've got modes, translate, extract text, Samsung pass for your passwords, themes. Now this is not the themes that we talked about earlier. This is the more basic theming. Uh, you can do a lot more in Keys Cafe. And then you can press this to get other ones. So you can see like all the ones we have here, keyboard size, text editing can also be added to this list. So then you basically have everything that you need in order to use your keyboard. Now, handwriting is a really nice one because you can actually utilize the S Pen to do S Pen to text. So if you want to, you can take your S Pen out, you can write, hello, and I'll insert it right there. Um, you can actually do strike through in order to, you know, you can say, hello, and then you can strike through that. Uh, and then if you're writing a full sentence, you actually write a full sentence and strike something out, then it will delete it. In that case, I didn't do it quick enough. I'm also in Twitter here. So if you have the S Pen out and you like to write with handwriting, you can do that and then translate it directly inside the keyboard. Um, there's some other suggestions up here as well that come from the AI stuff if you do decide to use the S Pen to text, but it is a really cool feature if you know handwriting is something you prefer using over the regular keyboard. You also have the ability under emoji, a bunch of things. First of all, the GIF and everything we enabled earlier. Some of the ones I want to point out though is you can create your own emoji, which I did with a bunch of dinosaurs for my son. Um, and then you can also create emoji pairs. So Samsung has this awesome feature, which Google also has on Android, where you can create multiple different emoji pairs. And the way you do that is you just choose two emojis and put them together and they'll animate. So if you want to show two emotions at once, you can put these together and then send that in a conversation. It's one of the cooler features that I've actually found uh, in terms of emojis in the last few years. And I don't use emojis a ton because I'm getting older. Maybe that's just a byproduct of that. It's not my favorite thing to use when typing, but this feature is very cool. And it's one that, that I've started using a little bit more. I think that's all of them. I kind of covered them all while we were in the shortcuts. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It gives you a little more insight into how to use your Samsung keyboard, what's available on the Samsung keyboard, how you can get different custom effects inside the Samsung keyboard. If you guys have any questions, drop them below. Happy to answer them. If you guys want me to make a tutorial about Gboard, which I also use from time to time, Google's keyboard for the S24 Ultra, happy to do that as well. Appreciate you guys checking it out. Again, if you want to save some money on your wireless service, check out my partners at Mint Mobile, try mintmobile.com slash springer. We do appreciate them for being partners with the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.